addition to providing a well-programmed device, the clinician is responsible for educating the patient about all aspects of usage and care for their walk-aid system. Everything from skin care, donning and doffing, exercise program and electro maintenance to troubleshooting are in the user manual. Review all details with the patient and have both parties sign the acknowledgement page at the back of the manual. The medical device card for use with travel is located there as well. Prepare the software and connect the patient's new walk aid to the walk link. Click OK to initialize. Open the patient's profile and select the transfer program option. Click on send save setting. Identify the program that you wish to transfer to the patient's device. Click on that item and click send settings. This will transfer the program to the walk aid. If you are transferring a program from the patient's demo unit to their new device, select Transfer Program, then choose Copy a Walk Aid. Connect the source walk aid to the walk link and press the Continue button. Connect the target walk aid to walk link and press the Continue button. This will transfer the settings from the demo unit to the patient's own walk aid. Set up the patient's walk aid and confirm that electro placement, cuff fit, and program are correct. Use the electrode markers and demonstrate how to change, connect electrodes. Observe the patient walking with their tilt program and make any necessary adjustments. Watch the patient don and off the walk aid several times before releasing them. The patient's commitment to using their new walk aid system and your ongoing support are essential to the patient's success. At the delivery appointment, schedule a follow-up visit for within the first two weeks. Schedule regular follow-up visits for a preset duration. Future visits can be scheduled as needed and will vary from patient to patient. Patients should be seen if they report issues that cannot be addressed via telephone or email. For example, a change in overall walking speed, a change in overall gait pattern, a reported change in stimulation timing or missed stims, a significant change in intensity needed to produce a muscle contraction or skin irritation. A timely response to patient inquiries facilitates continued safe and effective use of the walk aid. The initial follow-up appointment will allow the patient to ask questions and address issues they may be having. The clinician can provide education, support the first two-week electrode change, observe gait and balance, make program adjustments, note compliance, and collect data for reports. Complaints of discomfort beneath the electrodes may be resolved by adjusting electrode placement and or program adjustment. In addition, the patient should be reminded about skin care, electrode maintenance, and intensity management. Before making any adjustments, Discuss the patient's hygiene routine, soaps, lotions, shavings, and electro maintenance. Lotions, soaps, and oils can inhibit stimulation from entering the skin, causing irritation. Natural soaps, light lotions that are removed with water prior to electrode placement and shaving at night are recommended. Wetting the electrodes before use is essential to a comfortable stimulation. Keeping the electrodes clean and covered when not in use maintains their integrity. Finally, the lowest intensity possible should be used to clear the toes from the floor. Review the patient's wearing schedule. Identify overuse, as this could lead to skin discomfort or overuse injuries. Adjust electrode placement to promote comfort and function. Decrease pulse width and or time between to enhance comfort. You may need to increase the intensity to elicit the functional foot lift. If the foot is not lifting enough or not lifting in the right direction, assess the cuff and electrode alignment. Ensure that the cuff is donned correctly and fits snugly for complete electrode contact with the skin. Assess the electrodes for proper location and move them as needed. An issue with stimulation timing or missed stimulations warrants a review and adjustment of the walk aid programming. To make program adjustments, connect the walk aid to the walk link and open walk analyst. Ensure the Bluetooth connectivity is engaged. Set the audible beep and observe the patient walking to identify specific issues. After opening the patient profile, select adjustment. 
Adjust control settings here. If the patient complains of skin irritation or you notice signs of it, instruct the patient to discontinue use of the walk aid. Troubleshoot by asking questions about skin care, electrode maintenance, intensity management, and wearing schedule. The patient should not resume use of the walk aid until the skin is completely healthy. Offer solutions and follow up regularly to determine their effectiveness.